2.2 study the material this is obvious, right? Make sure you know the content inside and out and make your own notes about the information so you can use the presentation as a resource, not a crutch. Notes can keep you on track, keep your presentation on pace to finish in time for the next part of the lesson. They also keep you from going off on a tangent or forgetting an important piece of information. Think of your notes as a mini lesson plan which will be covered later in Unit 5. Designing Lesson Plans, Activities, and Assessments Someone else's presentation might mean something completely different to you, some modification might be necessary. Sometimes my own PowerPoint presentations don't make sense to me as I haven't used them in a while or I changed my approach. Education is always changing and delivery techniques are also evolving. Try to use bullet points, key phrases, talking points etc. If you can expand on the bullet points or talking points by giving more detail and some examples while making the information flow you are doing well. Knowing the content will make answering the students questions easier. Always make sure you are familiar with the materials you use. Read the textbooks. Watch the videos you are going to use in its entirety, that way you can avoid nasty surprises like bad language, sexual material, culturally insensitive or religiously sensitive issues. Become a subject matter expert at what you are presenting. You also do not want to figure the task out in class or discover the completion process together with the students or find out a crucial part is missing because you didn't read the instructions properly or did not double check your planning. That happens. Unless absolutely necessary, do not read unnecessarily while presenting. Students will get bored and lose interest. There are many techniques and strategies you can use to engage your learners while presenting, these will be covered later in Unit 6. Engaging Students Thanks for watching this video.